Hi everybody, I'm Sarah with athriftymom.com and we are getting ready to start our Mommy and Me paint night and tonight we are going to paint a Batman themed painting and we have a link in the um, header that tells you all the supplies you need if you want to paint with us. Next week we're going to paint this project if that looks like something you want to paint with us next week. I actually don't have a date for next week's Mommy and Me paint night have a pretty busy week so not a hundred percent when we're gonna paint it but we'll be painting this next week but tonight we are painting our Batman theme and so, Malia isn't here yes yeah, so I just have Allison says tuned in hi Allison so while we wait for people to join Monique says hi uh, Mackenzie says hey let's go ahead and wait for people to hop on and if you want, you can even tell us where you're joining us from. Looks like we have about 70 people on right now. Monique says, I'm here. Looks like a Lorax painting. Yeah, that's next week's painting. Jackie says, hi. Okay, so if you are joining us tonight, we can, you can either paint on a canvas, which is either on a board or just a flat canvas like this. Or if you don't have money for a canvas or you don't want to stick onto it forever, uh, Janet says, yay, can't wait for it to start, and Vicki says, hi, Is you can Faith just paint, yet? nope, Faith's not on yet, on the back, uh, Janet says, here from Washington State, Jackie's from Rocky Point, New York, um, you can just paint on the back of a cereal box, that totally works too, that's what we painted these ones on, if it's something your kids want to keep long term, you can get these canvases for about a dollar, and it's just a nicer way to preserve your painting, but if it looks like something you're probably just going to stick on the fridge, oops, sorry about that, guys, and then toss after a month or so, a um, back of a cereal box works really good. Uh, Mackenzie says Tennessee. Michelle says from Sportsdale, uh, Springdale, Arkansas. Nancy's from Texas. So if you guys want to paint this with us, but you're not going to be able to stick around for the whole class tonight, what you can do is you can share this um, video to your Facebook page and then once it ends the whole thing will just be on your Facebook page and you can watch it from front to end and you can pause it, you can rewind it, you can do whatever you want and paint at your own speed. Raquel is from Modesto and Allison is from Iowa. Alright, okay so I'm gonna actually go ahead and get us started. What we're gonna do is one, my daughter's gonna be painting on um, this white one, this white canvas, and then her friend is with us tonight, and she's going to be painting on a cereal box. Say hi, Rainy. Oh. <laughs> she's a little camera shy, and that's totally fine. Can you go shut that door right there for me, sweetheart? Yep. So if you're painting on a cereal box, um, Abby is from, Melissa is from Ohio, and Abby is from Wisconsin. Um, if you're painting on the back of a cereal box, I like to go ahead and just take a little bit of painter's tape and we're going to go ahead and tape it to our tablecloth or our painting surface because since it's thin, it tends to buckle a little bit. Abby's from Wisconsin. Hi, Abby. Are any of you guys painting with your kids tonight? This is kind of like, we decided to do a boy theme, and then my boys decided they wanted to play Xbox instead of paint with me. So luckily my daughter said she would paint. Hey. Uh, don't you love that? And then the other daughter went with uh, on a birthday party tonight. So, but next week, this was a little bit more um, adultish, or it kind of looks like a Lorax, something like that. So if you wanted to grab some girlfriends and do that one with us next week, that would be fun. Okay, so we have um, our painting, I mean we have our pad, what not, it's not called a pad, we have our cardboard taped, and I'm actually just going to go ahead and, let me make sure it's in the shot, um, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to um, tape that down, and then and actually we can go ahead, we can give you a little bit more space. Okay, so what we need tonight, and if you missed the supply list, we have the su full supply list in that link up in the header. And what we need tonight is you just need some big um, base brushes. So these just don't have to be anything fancy. This is what we're going to do 
our background with. You are going to need a stippling brush, which is a round brush. See the difference? These are like a base brush and they're flat. And these are a stippling brush and they're round and kind of stiff. And then we're going to need um, a finer brush or a fine tipped brush, um, one that has more, um, we'll be able to paint more detail. And we're going to use that for our Batman. Now you can either freehand your Batman. My daughter freehanded this one. Or if you don't feel like you can freehand it, on that link that we have, we have a link to this um, printout that you can print out. And then you can cut this out and you can use it as a stencil. So if you feel like freehanding it, I feel like my daughter did a pretty good job. What do you guys think? I think that's pretty darn good for a freehand. Um, but if you don't feel like freehanding it, you can um, go ahead and print out. It's kind of like half a circle. It's kind of like half a circle. What do you mean? They just take their brush and just turn it. Yeah, way. yeah, I know. But some people are going to have a hard time freehanding. Well, you can just say it's half a circle. Okay. So, Raquel says, awesome. Yeah, she did do a good job. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and the paint colors that we are going to need tonight. She did a great job, Jackie says, and um, Crystal says, yes, it is. Okay, so for our canvas, for our canvas, we're going to go ahead and wet the surface. That's going to um, give uh, her a little bit more mo mobility or a little bit more movement with the paint. Um, Rainy, on the other hand, is using a piece of cardboard, which is the back side of a cereal box. And if she wets that, it's going to bow. So the, her, hers were not going to wet. But both girls need to start out by wetting their brush. And we actually just use an old baby wipe container for our water brush. I mean our water container. The paints that we're going to use tonight are just Apple brand acrylic paint. Um, we have it linked if you don't have a place locally that sells them. You can get a pack on Amazon with a variety of colors and it will ship right to your house. Uh, Janine says, oh man, so disappointed. I just seen this. Something is something to plan in the future. Awesome. Yeah, Janine, if you want, you can share this video um, to your page and then you can pause it, rewind it, watch it again. Once it's, after it's done being live, it will just save and then you can watch it whenever you want and you can just do this project with your kids later. So these, like I said, you can get them at your, my local Walmart in the craft section has these for 50 cents a bottle. So this is a really low cost and expensive craft to do with your kids. Okay, so we're going to start out by, we're going to go ahead and squirt the girls some paint here. Uh, let's see. Yep. She wants to know if it's wet enough. And all you're just going to get it just so it's damp. You don't want it dripping wet. Hey, Keely, can you actually go get some napkins? I forgot to get yeah. napkins. So we're going to put a little bit of paint in each one of our things. If you don't have a paint holder, uh, we might need a blow dryer, yeah. But don't take it apart this week. <laughs> How many of you guys were with me last week when uh, my husband was trying to be helpful and took apart my blow dryer to fix it right in the middle of paint night? which then led to me not being able to use it. <laughs> but he did fix it, and it works better than it used before. It did before. So we're just squirting in some black, some white, and some gray. In fact, I'm going to give you a little... Okay. So what we're going to do now, then, is we're going for kind of like an ombre look. So the girls are going to dip their paint brushes in the white first and then they're going to paint a strip all the way down um, all the way down the middle yep you just get a good solid strip and Ramey go ahead and you'll, yours will absorb more paint since it's cardboard and there we go just get a solid strip and we do have a clear tablecloth down um, it's a good idea to put your kids in clothes that it doesn't matter if they get paint on them and then also um, put something down to protect your table. It's pretty easy to scratch off a of plastic but if it gets on, um, you guys can talk, they're being mute. They're being, because Ramey's embarrassed, she doesn't want her voice on the video which is totally fine but normally my little chatty Kathy 
uh, McKeeley is uh, whispering and being mute. <laughs> okay. So. Yep. Here. So go up and down. You want to do long brush strokes, okay? Like this. Alright. Okay, so Keely, do you have yours done? Yeah. Okay. Like so now once we have um once we have our white strip done, we're now gonna we're not gonna clean our brush and we're gonna go right into the gray and now do a gray strip on the side. How many of you are painting along with us tonight? I know some of you guys are just watching, so you can do it later. But how many of you guys are actually painting live with us tonight so I know how fast to go? Okay, Rainy, get some more paint on your paintbrush. Do this strip on the other side. And go ahead and bring your gray strip to about here. There you go. Good job. Look how good yours faded, Keely. That looks amazing. Okay, so Keely, go ahead and add a little bit more gray. Um, uh, Jen says, watching from Tin Falls, you're in Boise, right? Yes! Woo, woo! We love it when our Idaho fans join us. Vicki says, just watching. Awesome. Okay, so now, if you see how... Um, Rainy's is just a little bit, it kind of looks like it's just striped. So uh, there's a couple ways that we can do that. We can just go up and down, and then that is going to blend it more. But if we're kind of losing our white, all we got to do is grab some white and add more on top and go up and down. And see how we then kind of blend that together? Okay. So now we're going to kind of brush your brush out like this. Okay, so do we need, so go ahead and get a little bit more gray on your brush. Howdy neighbor, Jen says. <laughs> sort of. Yeah, Idaho terms uh, neighbor, which we're about two and a half hours away. We've got about 200 people live watching us though. Okay, so next... Go ahead and dip your brush into that gray and load your brush up. Great. Let's go ahead and move this in case we don't blob it on top of it. Uh, yeah, let's do the white after because um, you have the gray. So go ahead and put another strip of gray. Okay, and then while that gray is still pretty wet, what we're going to do, you can put some on this side, Remy. It's all gone. Yeah. Is now go ahead and pick up some black. And then start the black on this edge and then blend it in that way. Okay? On this edge? Yep. So do a solid black on that and then blend it in. There you go. And then kind of blend it back out. Good job, Keely. See how good that worked? And if you need to, so go ahead and do your black on this side. Oh, you just got more gray. That's okay. You can do that. Now blend it. Don't try to come this way anymore yeah. until you clean your brush. So go ahead and get some black and do this side. Can you do some more black? Noah, Nicole says, I'm sorry, I just missed. What are you using to paint on? Nicole, great question. Um, this one over here, we're just using the back of a cereal box. And then this one right here is just a flat canvas that you can get for a dollar. You can find it at most craft sections. Thanks, Michelle. She's answering my questions for me. I appreciate that because sometimes I can't get to them all. So you can use, like I said, the reason we paint on the back of cereal boxes is because most of the time after we paint so many projects that normally after about a month we're done with a project and that way we can just toss them in the trash. Um, where if it's something that your kids are just going to paint once and they really want to hold on to, you can go ahead and invest and do the dollar canvas or you can get a thicker canvas, which is like five or six dollars. And it can be something that they hang in their room for quite a while. I'm making this one for my teacher. Oh. Okay. So now what you can do is you, you can... Let's, we're going to kind of clean their brushes out a little bit. And then we're going to add <coughs> some more White. gray. And then you can blend those edges just a little bit better. And actually, sometimes if you just get a little bit of water... 
um, there you go, blend it like that, kind of get rid of that line. And then I'm going to actually go wash your brush out over here. That we had all the black out. Can't make it in my breakfast. Oh. See, there's a line. It's really hard to do with the blending on my. Okay. How, do, how do I get this not as much as mine? Um, so then we're going to add some more gray, okay? And then just brush over it with your gray. Oh, it's all black. And if you go. So here, let me go wash your brush out. Thank you. I wipe some of this off. Okay, here. <laughs> My baby. <laughs> like it. <laughs> a little bit of black goes a long ways. Keely, here, let's do it with a cloth because you're getting toilet paper. Toilet paper. <laughs> toilet paper isn't the best thing to use in a painting. Uh oh, dang it. Now we're. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Ah! Okay. Now it's fuzzy Batman. Yeah, now it's fuzzy Batman. <laughs> okay. So you can go back to just getting your gray, and then here, add some more gray in there. What do you guys, okay. Uh, Michelle says, I love the idea of using cereal boxes so you don't have to buy a canvas. Yes, and that's totally why we did it, because, um, if yeah, if we go over, let me in fact let me grab some of the paintings we've done just in the last couple of weeks and show you. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna play. This is so hard. Yeah. Ugh. You don't need that much paint. Just go. We need white. Okay, so here's some of the paintings we've done over the last couple of weeks, and if you follow that link that I have in the header, it will you can actually watch the videos from the weeks we did past. This was last week's painting. This was a canvas. So this is a canvas. And then the same painting. This is it done on a cereal box. So this is a canvas and this is a cereal box. So that was last week's painting. You can watch that one. Super cute. I'm definitely going to do this with my boys, Avery says. And Tiffany said, wish my son could have done this tonight. Go ahead and share the video and you can do it with them sometime this week when you're not busy. Um, this was the project that we did a couple weeks ago. This was two weeks ago, our abstract bubbles painting. That one was fun. This is a canvas and this one is a cereal box. Tiffany says, oh my goodness, such a good idea. Why have I never thought of this? Such a great idea. Thanks. And this was our very first paint night that we did. This is the uh, silhouette sunset. Once again, here's the cereal box. Here's the canvas version. So yeah, there's really not much difference, except for this one was free and this one cost a buck. So there's some of the ideas we've done in the past. And like I said, this is going to be next week's painting. I just don't have the night that we're going to be doing this for sure. Nicole says, I'll be doing this with my boys for sure. I love the idea of a cereal box. Okay, so as the girls kind of get their um, background done, are you happy with how it looks, Keely? Nope. <laughs> nope. Sometimes you just gotta stop because otherwise you. It's like ah! I have like no white. You have no white. You need some more white. No, like in my painting. Oh well, you gotta remember that. Um, I need to wa Can you wash my brush? Yeah, I'll brush. Um, I'll wash it up. So yeah, what can you wash my brush? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go wash these girls. Can you please share the silhouette? Um, yeah, I can share that, and then also if you just click the link at the top of the video, if you go to that page, I actually have a link to the silhouette one in there. Um, just scroll down and it will say, these are the uh, past projects we've done, and you can go there and then you can click it and share it to your Pinterest page, or um, I think we have that one on YouTube, I can't remember if we have, if not, the video is on our site. It will be on YouTube tonight. No, the silhouette one. The very, very first one we did tonight. Oh, crap. The very, very first one we did. Yeah, they'll be on YouTube. Magic. Yeah. Okay. How you going, girls? Um, I always use acrylics. My mom is a toll painter. And so, here, actually, that's Keely's brush. Yeah. Doesn't really matter, I guess, but... 
Keely, you're dragging the um, okay. thing into your thing. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to pick your painting up and put it right here. And then I'm going to try it. You have a lot of excess paint here. So let me... Is fate the one that always... Yeah. Yep. It's... She just joined. Oh, okay. I'm Keely. Sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm late to you. I just got home from the store. Okay, Faith. McKeely was like, is Faith on yet? Mom, we can't start without Faith. <laughs> Okay, so here's your painting back, Keely. Oh, the water's all dirty. Okay, let me go get you guys some new water. Just wait. Oops, I got too late. There you go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so I didn't answer her question oh, about acrylics. So, okay, I'll answer it back over there. Perfect. Okay. Sarah owns stock. In acrylic companies. <laughs> it just the water bucket all over the floor. He did? <laughs> okay. We need a, a caution wet floor sign. I just poured a whole thing of water all over my kitchen floor. That's why we use plastic, not glass containers. <laughs> okay, so to answer your question, I always use acrylic paint um, just because that's what I learned to paint on. My mom is a toll painter and she's taught lessons for over 20 years. And so I've just always painted with acrylic paint and I don't, um, I'm sure I could figure out watercolors, but that's just what I am used to using. Okay, so I think girls, let's probably try to finish up yeah. our paintings and then let's blow dry them so we can go ahead and, okay. So Keely's kind of using a technique where sometimes if you just wet your brush and then go across the whole thing, you can blend your colors. Don't go to here though because your brush is dirty. And if you, then you'll... Uh -huh. You just did that. I just, just did what I didn't tell you to do, huh? Sorry. Okay, don't touch your daughter's painting here. I'll fix it. There we go. Look. I, like perfect. I know, look. Mom fixed it. Okay. Is that okay? Maybe we need some white in Yeah. Okay. Here. Next week we're not doing ombre because we have done that on the last three, no, last four things. So we, we had a um, request to not do an ombre background. So this is one where we're doing a different background and then doing a silhouette on top of it. It's kind of a reverse theme. So that'll be next week's class. Um, and it won't be on Friday night because I have a mommy and um, son thing at the school. So I'll let you know the day that we do that. Michelle says, how did you say to access the other paintings on your stuff? Uh, paintings so you can pause, fast forward, rewind. If you go to the link in the header of this video where it gives you a little short link, to the description, you can click on that. And um, it, will give you a link, I, it will give you a link to all the videos we've done in the past. And then I want to do the flower one that you just showed with the glitter. Yeah, that was Lax last week's class, um, this one. And uh, if you can watch that video. And then Jen, Jen say, says, do as I say, not as I do, LOL. Yes, <laughs> as I messed my daughter's painting up. Okay, Raquel says, I like the watercolors, but they don't build as good as acrylic paintings, in my opinion. We're, they're both fun. Yeah, I've never done I've never done um, watercolors. Faith says I will definitely be painting with you next week. Awesome, Faith. Um, like I said, we I just need to pin down a day. I'm thinking either Thursday night or Saturday night. We have a crazy week next week. So Danielle's on. Hi, Danielle. Danielle says just stopping by to say hi. Hopefully you have a fun night plan, Danielle. Um, don't go too far in, Keely. Yeah. Okay, can you go run upstairs? I forgot to get the blow dryer. Can you go get the blow dryer? And then, oh, Daddy already got it. Okay, so if you're trying to paint in a hurry, we could just let these dry. Um, it's, they're only going to take about 10 minutes to dry, but for the sake of time and so you guys don't get bored just sitting here watching paint dry, we're going to go ahead and plug in. Go ahead and wash these out. You know what, Keely? And go change your shirt, because that's your school shirt. And I'm going to be frustrated if you ruin that. Um, Danielle says, nope. Can't wait to see the final product. <laughs> okay, so this is one that I'm going to actually have the girls take their paintings over 
to the counter. Sorry, right. do you wanna do you wanna brush it down like that? There we go. If you do your brush strokes always in the same direction, it helps them. Okay, okay mom, this so go wash that out. Okay. 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 So we're gonna take hers off, and no, then I'm gonna take them hers. over, and we're gonna blow dry them. Where's the blow dryer at? Keely, you wanna blow dry these over here? Uh, sure. Okay. Sure. We'll dry them over there. Okay. And then I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup here. Girls got a little overzealous with their painting tonight. <laughs> and that is why we put down a cloth. So, um, I mean, a, and a, this is a good way just to show you how easy the acrylic paint comes off the um, plastic tablecloth. But it does not come out of cloth very well, so don't put down the cloth tablecloth. Yeah, you can have it. So they're just blow drying their paintings right now, and I'm trying to clean this up a little bit. Uh, Ramy, do you want to go wash these brushes out? Yeah. Okay. And one thing, as we're washing the brushes, um, it's really important to not leave your brush just sitting in the water. And the reason for that, why is this not focused? There we go. And the reason to not leave your brush sitting in the water is because the water will work as a wick and it will bring that paint up and it will get into the um, the base of your brush and then it will dry and what it will do is it will cause your brush to um, open like this and then you won't have a nice um, brush anymore so it's really important to not leave your brush sitting in the water and then as soon as you're done painting go wash them out and just scrub them on your hand with soap and water and then you can actually leave a little bit of soap in your brush and then form your brush again. Because if you notice when you get a brush from the store, it's kind of a little bit hard and crusty. And so when you leave the soap in there a little bit, it keeps those bristles, bristles where they're supposed to be. And then you can kind of uncrust it or whatever you want and then wash it out. And then it will help your brushes last for years um, if you take good care of them. Uh, so let's go back to some of these comments. Tiffany says, "Oh my goodness, I want to do the want to go to the craft store right now and get paint." Ha ha! My three year old is definitely going to love the cereal box art. Um, that is going down. Awesome. Yep. And you, like I said, you can share these videos to your uh, Facebook wall, and then you can go back and you can watch them whenever it's convenient for you. And if you missed some of our past um, craft nights, like this was last week's. You can just follow that link at the top of our page and it will go back and it will show you the past paintings that we've done and you can watch those videos and you can paint them with us. Whoops, sorry guys, bubbled you all up there. Woo, this was one a couple weeks ago. And then this is going to be next week's paint night. Okay, so the girls' canvases are dry, I think, <coughs> right? Is this in the picture map? Yeah. Hers? Okay. Um, they're still... What? Like... Is the green one you mean? No, the Raimi's. That's for uh, strike. Raimi's you know what? Your girls go to blow dry them a little bit more because if we stipple them, the paint will bring it up when you stipple. Okay, so what we're going to do is call... The... I'm sending the girls back over just to finish blow drying their painting. And if you're not on a time crunch, um... Uh, you don't have to blow dry them, but just for the sake of time, we're blow drying them. Allison says, so how's it going? <laughs> I think that's when I was cleaning stuff up. Faith says, were you sad when you found out about Prince? Um, yeah, I think it's sad when anybody dies. I wasn't a huge Prince fan. Um, I'm more of a country music girl. So, like, if that would have been, like, George Strait or, 
um, Garth Brooks, I probably would have been pretty darn sad. But since I didn't listen to Prince, I mean, I couldn't tell you any of his music. I, um, I mean, obviously it was sad, but I, I don't know him very well. Yeah, I, I don't, uh, I'm not one of these people that's like huge into celebrities, which I know is a little ironic. Um, being a blogger and going to a lot of different conferences, I've had the opportunity to meet a, quite a few famous people, and um, I don't know, I'm just not one to, they're just people to me. Like, I'm normally more excited to meet, I don't know, uh, I'm more excited to meet some just more regular people. Some celebrities are super, super, super nice in person, but a lot of them aren't as nice in person as when you meet them. But I never met Prince, obviously, and I didn't listen to his music much, but it is sad that he passed away. Um, and then Deanne says, love the next week one. So pretty. Thank you. And hopefully you'll join us for that. And you can do the swirls in any color you want. And Allison and I says, I love country music. I know, I'm a huge country music fan. I love, love, love it. But I like the old stuff. I'm finding the new stuff. I don't listen to the radio as much. I'm more of a Pandora girl. And so I still kind of like the old stuff that I grew up with. Vicki says, I love watching your videos, but for some reason it's not telling me when you're live. I'm subscribed, but it's not sending me the notifications. I was getting, I'm getting them, but it stopped. It's a new Facebook thing. I think it's a Facebook glitch, because I'm having the same issue too for the people I'm subscribed to. It's not telling me when they're live. So hopefully it's going to work itself out. Um... And yeah, for those of you that aren't subscribed to me, if you click the right corner of the video up here, it should have a little button that will allow you to subscribe. And then as we go live with videos, it will just give you a little chime, or it should, and that will allow you to watch live with us and let you know when we're on. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to switch brushes, and we're going to switch to that stipple brush, like I talked about. Uh, my hands are filthy from cleaning up so the nice. thing. Look at it. <laughs> the good thing about it is it's acrylic paint and just a little bit of soap and water takes it totally off. Um, Vicki says, okay, thank you. And yes, Vicki, I'm sad because you were always on with us. So hopefully you'll be able to continue to join us. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do what's called stippling. And we're going to do some of this yellow paint. And the key to stippling is... You want your brush to be dry. Do not wet your brush, okay? And then you don't want to get paint all the way up in here. We only want to use the top part of our bristles. Sorry, I'm not in picture here. So when we get it, we're just going to put the paint just on the top, and it's a dry brush, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to pounce that out, okay? We're going to kind of work it into the bristles. Then when we do this, where's my painting over here. You kind of want to imagine the oval shape that you're going to make, okay? But if you do it, um, let's see on the back of something that, if, well, I'll just do a bad example here. So if you do it like this and you, it doesn't look as good, okay? You see how that looks? It just kind of looks like it's all in a row. So what the goal is, is you kind of want it to look pouncy. And so if you kind of rotate your brush as you go. go closer to camera. If you rotate your brush as you go, you're going to get different, and it's hard to do because i got to do it against a hard surface. Um, <laughs> if you rotate your brush, then you're going to get different shapes, and it's going to look more sporadic. Does that make sense? Not yeah, you don't want it to look uniform. So just remember, as you're doing it, to kind of try to twist your brush so you get more of like a, 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 a pouncy, staggered feel instead of like just like a line, okay? All right, so Ramy, dab it, and then pounce it, and then if you, if you need to, if you're going to, if you can, you can go ahead and draw, slightly draw your oval on where it needs to be and then more? and then have yeah. the kids kind of go within that oval or you can eyeball it you want me to draw your oval yeah, yeah. Can okay and another thing too is you can see on our uh, stencil here kind of how big you want it to be so you can just put your stencil there and then draw your oval 
around it. And you just don't want to make it too dark because otherwise it will bleed through. Um, it will bleed through for the. Uh, I'll come over there and do it. It will bleed through the uh, the the yellow paint. Okay. So just really light. There we go. And do your pounces. There you go. All right. And remember to rotate your brush so you're getting different brush shapes. Shapes. Put that a little bit closer to you. Did I answer everybody's question? Sometimes as I watch the videos back, I feel bad because I start answering someone's question and then the kids distract me or another question pops up and mid-sentence I stop what I'm saying and I go on to something else. And <laughs> it makes me sound like a really, really intelligent human. So, <laughs> Oh yeah, so tomorrow um, we're going to be doing two live giveaways. We're going to be ending those giveaways. And um, those will be the Manuka Honey recipe. I mean, the Manuka Honey giveaway. And all you have to do to enter those is to um, leave a comment. And then the same thing on that post. And I can link to those giveaways if you want. And then that same day, we're going to be giving away our vitamin pack giveaway. And so what we'll do is we're actually going to hop on and we'll tally everybody up and we'll put the winner, I mean the information into random.org and we'll be able to get a winner live. So that should be fun. Faith says, if you don't have a stipple brush, would you be able to use a flat brush with the bristles all spread out, if that makes sense? Yes, you could. Um, but the better thing to do would maybe to be to get like a craft sponge if you had one. Um, if you do it with a flat brush like this, it'll work, but it's going to give you lines, and then you're probably also going to ruin your brush. If it's like one that they don't care about and they're all spread out, maybe they could like cut it. Yeah, if it's an older brush, yeah, you can use it, but it just doesn't give you the same shape. Now, if you don't have a stipple brush, you can, this was actually, this is one you could do where you just use um, the ombre look but you instead of white in the middle you end up with the the yellow so see how this one we have the white and we use the stipple this one we did not use a stipple I my daughter did one. this one all by herself and so this one you just have the yellow strip in the middle so those are a couple different versions that you could do Here, i'm going to move you up okay so people can see what you're doing does it matter which vitamin like uh just the giveaway post the, the live video. Faith says, okay, thank you. Yep. We on, should... On the Manuka Honey, do they need to post on the site or just on the video? Uh, it doesn't matter, either one. On the Manuka Honey, you can post either on the site or the video. Ramy, I agree. <laughs> Ramy's getting aggressive over there. I'm really lively. It looks like... Like, just how you're holding it. That's too dark. It's oh, however you want. Faith says you girls are doing a wonderful job. Tonight, my little one is at a birthday party with her friends. So we let Ramy come spend the evening with us. And so she stepped in to fill McKee, I mean, Malia. Malia's spot for the Mommy and Me paint night. We approved it with her mom to make sure that her, it was okay for her voice and hands to be seen on the video, though. Right? <laughs> you can't see her voice. You can see her voice hear your voice. Don't don't have your don't get your circle too big. Otherwise mine's like sort of off center. But it's okay. My flower's off center last time. <laughs> it was. Yep. Well let's see how her flower she got all upset because her flower was off center no, last that one's week. Not mine. Oh this one's fine. Yeah that one. See how her flower was off centered and she got all upset. But it still turned out super cute. So it doesn't have to be exactly like the example. Yeah. Maybe it looks like it's meant to be over there. Yep. The thing about paintings is you can do it however you want, and there's no specific way as to how it needs to be. Okay. The vitamins I need to enter before tomorrow? Yep, so the vitamins and the honey will end the giveaway about five minutes before we go live. Um, 
And so any comments before that will be valid for the winner. Oh, mine looks like I'm really, like, tall. That's okay. That's all right. It looks good. Okay, so let's probably, let's go wash our brushes out. Are you guys done with your stippling? You happy yeah. with your yeah. circles? Okay, go wash your brushes out. And then um, I'll bring the blow dryer over here and let's blow dry our circles. Okay, so I'm going to turn this blow dryer on again real quick. And it's nice and clean because last week my husband took it apart in the middle of the video. It had about eight years of gunk build up in it. Now it's nice and clean and works well. The canvas holds its moisture a lot more because it's thicker, so it takes a little bit more to dry the canvas. And if people ask what you did on your uh, Friday night, you can say, I watched paint dry. That's how exciting this is, right? <laughs> Who did? Oh no! I had the same pair of glasses uh, for like eight years and then my kids broke them. And then I went to these bigger frames and it was hard to get used to them. Uh, Charlotte says, this is awesome, going to do this, when, uh, this with my son. Leah says, ha ha ha. And Marissa says, love it. Yeah, do we have anybody from the outside of the U.S. watching tonight? Yesterday we had some people from Malaysia and Cambodia and Trinidad. Oh, yeah, and Algeria, Africa. We've had people from all over the U.S. Okay. No, Peggy, you do not have to use the hair dryer. Um, it would just take each one of these layers of paint um, to take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes to dry on their own. And I just don't want to bore the heck out of you guys as you watch paint dry. So just to speed up the process, we use the hair dryer. Um, that way you don't get bored of our videos. Um, so next step that we're going to do is, like I said, you can either freehand or Batman at this point. This one my daughter freehanded. She actually came up with this idea and asked if we could use it for paint night. And I said, absolutely. So then this one I decided, I knew that some of you guys might be intimidated to try to freehand. And so I found a online principle, and it's linked in that video that I give you guys all the supplies. Link up in the description. And this is what it looks like. And so you're just going to cut out your template. And so then what you're going to do is you're just going to put your Batman image right there. I can hold it down. And then we're just going to really lightly trace around it with a pencil and then the girls are gonna so the, the next phase we're gonna use some a little bit better quality fine brushes so they can do this detail work are my ears in there yeah gross I actually have not felt very good all day today I took a nap today I felt so yucky which is not like me at all. So um, I definitely wasn't planning on being on camera, so I'm glad that my ears are on camera. That's just, you know, the highlight of my day. Bishop is now watching with me. He loves Batman. Bishop is? Yeah, Charlotte Palmer. Awesome. Okay, so can you guys see that on there? See how we have that on there? Your daughter is super talented to freehand that bat symbol. Looks great. Yeah, she did an amazing job. That was... That was her freehand version. She did a great job. 
faces. I had a little brother, and I would yes, paint. I oh, I have. I had a little brother. I'd paint this for him. I have a bigger brother, but he might not like it. LOL. Uh, and Bishop is watching now. Yay, Bishop! I'm so glad you're here with us. Okay, uh, would you like me to put this yes. on for you? Okay, I'll come around there. Are you excited about your Batman? This is Maverick. He was gonna. Uh, my boys are actually, they're excited because they want to put these on their wall. Mm -hmm. I don't. You I just don't. came in here and asked I don't me if you could put it on your wall. I don't, no, I don't want to put it. Like, on my calendar, not on my Oh, wall. okay, on his calendar. Excuse me. Specific. <laughs> not on my wall. Is my head in the shot? <laughs> no. Okay, good. How's the bishop on a hill? No, it's not the bishop from church. It's like a little boy named bishop. Uh, my son was all impressed thinking our bishop was watching our uh, it could be a bishop paint night videos. <laughs> this is not be a boy. You think bishop could be a girl name too? You're right. It probably could be, huh? Wait, is it okay that I turn Okay, hey, don't, don't do that. Yeah. Yes, it's don't do that, Maverick, because it bumps the video and makes it all shaky for everybody. It makes it sick. Yeah. Why should we boys go play the Xbox? Oh, wow. Okay, there we, we go. Any. So the brushes that we're going to be using is, we're just going to be using these nice flat brushes. Bishop is eight years old. Eight years old. Hi, Bishop. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get our brush wet a little bit. And like I said, it's a little crusty, so you're just going to kind of brush it out. And then, okay, so Ramy. You don't want to get paint all the way up here in the bristles, okay? Mm -hmm. You only want to go halfway up with I the like paint. I like how these ones like come with a black tip because then when you get them all like so they then don't if you kind of just use it like a pencil and you go around the outside first. See how that works? Mm -hmm. And then you can kind of just bring it in and fill in, okay? okay. There you go. Thank you. Yep. My head in it? Yep. <laughs> Is mine? Nope. Oops. Slider. And this is the first time we've used a template on um on a video. But it works too. And like I said, next week we're gonna be doing this. And I actually freehanded these flowers, but I got the idea from I got the idea. I actually just looked up on um, pin art, not pin art. What's the word I'm looking for? Clip art. Clip art. And I just looked up flower silhouette. And that was the flower silhouette that I came up with. And then I just found that if you just draw an oval and then just make brush strokes, it actually looked quite a bit like it. So instead of trying to copy it, I just freehanded it. And um, it looked really weird at first. And I thought, oh man, I totally ruined it. But by the time I added the other flowers and added them in it. It turned out fun and I like the way it turned out. Oh, this is Makili's best friend. Her name is Ramy. Wait, Ramy. What? <laughs> and she has been in the same class as Makili since kindergarten, Except right? Except third grade. Oh, in yeah, third grade. We were separated. We were separated. It was horrible. <laughs> It was like the year of like, the poop I sort of don't know you. Um, and they're an orchestra together, and they're just, they're just the bestest of friends. They're super cute. Okay, so Charlotte says, what type of paint do you use? We you just use acrylic paint. This is just the Apple brand. It's actually one of the lower quality paints you can use. Um, it's only 50 cents a thing at Walmart, at our Walmart. At Super Walmart. Um, yeah, at Super Walmart. And... Um, it's a cheap, easy way to just have a fun night with the kids. And like I said, we just paint on the back of cereal boxes, or you can paint on a canvas. Like this is a canvas, and if you want it for like a gift or something to hang on the wall long term, you can go ahead and do the canvas for only a dollar. But if it's something, sorry guys, if it's something that you're going to be only displaying for maybe a month or two and then tossing it in the garbage, that's why we do the cereal box option. Uh, Rebecca says, those look like they are from the Dr. Seuss book. Yeah, that's a, it's funny because I, um, like mm -hmm. I just come up with like whatever's in my head. I don't normally use like a, um, a theme for someone else. I just kind of start painting. 
And um, yeah, afterwards it totally looks kind of like a Tuffalo tree or a Dr. Seuss inspiration. So um, the only thing that I had from to do next week's painting was somebody's asked if we could do a painting that did not have an ombre background. And so that's why I came up with the swirls. And then the swirls were fun, but they were kind of boring. Um, I mean, not boring, but just not. So that's why I came up with the bold silhouette in front of it. Rebecca says, very cute. Okay, so the girls are just working on doing their outlines. Which, how far are you? That does not make any sense. <laughs> Ramey, if you were going to paint anything, a picture of anything, and you had all the artist skills in the world, what would you paint? Unicorns. That's not Keely. Unicorns. Mom. Sitting here, see. Unicorns dancing on rainbow. <laughs> These girls love unicorns. Well, at least uh, Rainy does. If you could choose one color to wear the rest of your life, what color would you wear? Purple. Yep. Purple. I, I already know this stuff. Unicorns and purple. And Rainy, something unique about her is she has a broken lead collection. Well, what? that's raw. I oh, it's, it's her sister, but she helps. Oh, your sister. Oh, okay. Yeah, I help. So when we break pencil lead at our house, McKeeley is like, put it in a bag! I gotta take it to Rainy! So, kind of the silly, but yeah, she she collects, or your sister collects broken pencil leads. Well, even if they're whole, well, not mechanical, but my sister once broke, like, broke a product of pencil and, like, peeled off the wind, she got, like, a stick like that. Like, oh, wow. Faith says, oh my goodness, I was the same way with my friend. We've been in the exact same class since first grade, and still, we're in all the same classes together in high school. We also were in band together. Uh, let me see more. Uh, the teachers always getting us mixed up even though we didn't look alike at all. Do people mix up our girls? Probably not, because ours look a lot alike. Although, does Miss Patty ever call you guys this, each other? No. Nope. Ramey is super tiny. Not t well, super slender, I guess would be a good way to describe you. Bright, bright, bright blue eyes with blonde hair. And then McKeeley is brown has brown eyes. hair. She's one of the tallest girls in her class. Um, yeah, so. You're pretty tall. You're taller than Kayla and Jamie. Well, they're like short. <laughs> but yeah, they're both in orchestra together, and they love it. In fact, they came home from school today. And instead of playing things that normal little 11-year-olds would play, they played violin for an hour and sang and danced and were goofy. I love it. We played for an hour? Yeah, you guys did. That's what we need to just have Rainy over every day, and then you would have no trouble getting your 20 minutes of violin practice in, huh? You're supposed to reply. <laughs> <laughs> how, how long do you play your cello every day? What's your practice time? Sometimes we have to go home because we have um, tennis matches and we're just like orchestra. Um, cellos are hard to take home. They're like really busy. 50 pounds. No. That's that. <laughs> no. My Your cello weighs as much as you do? Is that what you're telling me? Pretty much? No. <laughs> cellos are really light. Well, all instruments are really light. Oh, I thought, ch well, you said cellos are huge. They're 50 pounds. <laughs> Mom, they're like 50 pounds if they were like filled with like sand or something. Oh, okay. That's what bases are. Bases, are, bases are like probably about 10 pounds. 20. No, not 20. Do we have any orchestra orchestra folks out there that used to play orchestra when they were little? When I was younger, uh, I went to a really small school and we didn't, we had bands, but we didn't offer orchestra yeah, at all. Yeah, my mom didn't get offered orchestra at all either. She put the session so I think tomorrow oh, yeah. I'm trying to get this focused a little bit there we go um, so tomorrow I think if weather permits although it's supposed to be if it's okay if it's not raining we're gonna do an outdoor project we're gonna do a melted crayon Ooh, art my, project my, my sister has done that and it's so cool yeah it's we so did a post cool. on it last week but then the day we were gonna do a video of it um, we had a bunch of stuff come up and I didn't get it done. And I've been promising my daughter that she could do it. So we're going to probably do that one tomorrow. I want to come tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really come tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe we could go grab her. 
And then um, we're going to do the two live giveaways tomorrow, too. Bobby says, my daughter is 11, and she plays the sax. Our school doesn't offer um, well, bands until, school. yeah, they're still in elementary school. They're only, a, so oh, next only year. Oh, you're yeah. turning 11 in June. June. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm a so year. when they um, start middle school, that's when they can start with the, the brass. So that's what it's called, brass? I don't know. Uh, or bass. band. What were you saying, honey? It's bass. Band is uh, woodwinds and brass. Uh, and then. Once you, well, the beginning band is Woodwinds, and then... Oh, yeah, and tomorrow, too, if I, um, I was going to go get it today, but like I said, I actually haven't felt good at all today. I've been pretty sick. So, um, I promised some of you I would do a how to do a corsage post. We tried to do that video last week. Boutonniere? Boutonniere, sorry, yes, Boutonniere. First time watching live. Yay, Sandra! Thanks for joining us. We're just finishing up. But I would love for you to hang around for a few minutes as we finish these um, up. Tomorrow, we, um, and if you guys are just joining us, um, when we end this video in a few minutes, it will take a few minutes to upload. But if you share it to your Facebook wall, then you can rewind it, fast forward it, watch it whenever you want. You can paint at your own pace uh, and find it for later. Yay! Look how nice that looks. Sandra gives you a smile face. And Bobby said she wanted to play the violin because her sister plays, but in middle school she doesn't offer it till sixth grade. Yeah, it's so funny how each grade, each um, school is different on what they offer. Um, okay, so tomorrow we're gonna try to do a boutonniere post too. I forgot about that. Um, last week I made a boutonniere for my niece because she was going to prom, and I was out at my mom's house. But we, they live way out in the country, and they don't have the best internet connection. And it just kept freezing, and then we just lost the video altogether. And I've had several of you request that we redo that video, and so um, I'll go try to get that. Yeah, so if anybody's going to prom and they would like to save some big bucks, um, it depends on where you live, but boot boutonnieres cost anywhere from, at the very cheapest I've ever found them, was like 15 bucks. Most of them are closer to 20, 25. And some of the fancy stores are upwards of $40 if you get all the extra fluff with them. So, um, and you can make your own boutonniere for um, about $4. So, Any daddy-daughter dances coming up? Yeah, daddy-daughter dances or graduations. Um, yeah, to make your kids graduation boutonnieres or corsages. I'm done. Uh, Bobby's, okay, Mel Melanie says, hey, thanks for doing Batman. Can you say my kids' names? We sure can. Okay, in fact, okay, so we're going to say your kids' names in a fun way, okay? So their names are Scott and Eve. So we're going to say, Scott! And then we're going to say, Eve! <laughs> so when I, I used to teach primary in my kids' church, I was in charge of the four-year-old uh, class. And they had been in class for a long time, and they would get tired. And that's how we would get them to focus, is I would say their names in weird ways. So they loved that. I don't know how old your kids were. It's probably a they're, little... They're <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're probably like, uh, I'm 18 and 12, and this lady's crazy. But meanwhile, sk -sk 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 Scott and Eve. <laughs> they're rolling. All right. Hey, Keely. Say Scott's name Goofy and um, Ramey say Eve's name Goofy. No! Yeah, say Scott's no! name. Uh, how? I don't know. I'm Scott. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I'm Batman. But... Yeah, okay, say Eve's name for me. Uh, <laughs> um, say it in a Goofy voice. Do a um, Miss Choir in the tape. <laughs> Good job. Okay, Bobby says, can you say Mar how do you say that? Margot and Aubrey, my three and six year old. We sure can. Okay, we're gonna go Mar 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 Margot and Aubrey. <laughs> Welcome to Paint Night with Mommy. <laughs> oh, good grief. Okay. Melanie says, oh, the pressure. Yep. Okay, well, I think we're done. And McKeeley wants to give hers to Miss Patty. 
who is one of the most amazing fifth grade oh, teachers yeah. ever. Oh, okay, and she got a little bit of, so all you got to do is just get a little Here. bit of white, get a clean brush, and then just paint, although it needs to be probably gray, but Check it out. get some gray. There you go. Thanks so much. Good night. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. And I will be in touch yeah, with when we do our Mommy and Me paint night next week when we do this. Like I said, I just have to look at my calendar and try to figure out uh, when I can do it for sure. But going on that Mommy and Son uh, date night next Friday was the most important thing on my schedule. So that's what I had to make sure I got done. Um, yep, there's my boy that I get to go on a date with next week, huh? For at your school mommy and me night, huh? He's pretty excited. Okay, so all I will get back with you. Hopefully, some of you guys can join us next week. If you're brand new to our site, we would like you, we would love it if you can click this little section up here, and that will give you the live subscribe option. And then that way, as we go live, it should give you a little ding and let you know. Um, we would love you to join us. Peggy says, can't wait to watch the next video. Melanie says, add how much I love mommy and how much I love mommy son date nights and Faye says ah he's so cute he is a cute little buddy he's my favorite huh you're my favorite six-year-old in the whole world all right thanks everybody thanks for joining I'll chat with you later bye, bye.